Hey guys, this is gonna be the first of many 3 Minute Tuesdays as inspired by Peter McKinnon. And it's gonna be a series where I invite you to learn with me. Today I'm gonna to be talking about how you can use 3M Bondo to repair your 3D prints. So Bondo is a brown putty-like filler that can be applied over any small scratches or gaps in preparation to painting. 3M has a variety of different levels of finishes, one being the roughest and four being the smoothest. Here are just a couple things you need to know before you get started. You should be working in a well ventilated area because this stuff really stinks. I'm working in my garage and this stuff also invents VOCs volatile organic compounds, which is not good for your lungs, so I highly recommend you buy a respirator, not one of those cheap dust masks. You'll also need a putty knife to use as a spreader. I'm using this one and a half inch plastic putty knife. And last but not least, you'll also need some acetone to clean off your putty knife so you can reapply another coat of Bondo. I found that level three Bondo was a good surface finish for my three prints. So I'm just gonna be sticking with that level. I'm gonna be applying multiple coats of this stuff. So be sure to keep your work area clean and dust free as well as your putty knife. So I ended up putting about six or seven coats of Bondo, just smoothing over some finishes. When you're sanding in between coats, just be careful to not remove too much material, otherwise you're gonna have to put another filler layer on top of any scratches that your sandpaper might rip out of your print. One issue I also had with sanding is that sometimes I would sand a little too much and then it would start pulling out a, a fiber thread, which would pull a line down my 3D print. You can think of it kind of as like one of your fingers you uh, what? Having, having broken skin and just peeling that all the way down. It's not a good feeling. My 3D print originally had some bridging issues, so I slapped a coat of Bondo on it and continued to sand in between. Before another coat of Bondo, I just wiped down my 3D print with a damp cloth just so there isn't any dust on your print when you apply another coat of Bondo. It'll help it stick better. So just repeat this process of Bondo, sand, and wipe down until you get a surface finish that you're satisfied with. That's all there is for this 3 Minute Tuesday. I'm really interested to hear about how your 3D prints turned out when you try to finish it, and I'd love to hear you guys in the comments down below. If you guys are interested in joining my journey on design and fabrication, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.